Mr. Matty, how are you today? Mr. Matty? I need some help in here. I'm not getting any response. Wilma, can you take his head his uh, and get a bag? I'm not getting any pulses. Nancy, I need you to start CPR on this. Michelle, can you record David? You have the heart. Uh, Nancy, can you put some pads on him real quick? He was fine five minutes ago. Go ahead, turn that on. Okay, he looks like he's in B5. Are you getting any rise and fall of the chest with bagging, Wilma? Yes, I am. Good. Nancy, I want you off the chest, please. I'm clear. Charge the defibrillator to 200 joules, please. Thank you. I'm clear. You're clear. Everybody's clear. Okay, start CPR, please. Uh, Michelle, did you get that? I want one yes. milligram of epinephrine, IV push, one to 10,000. One milligram of epinephrine. One milligram of epinephrine given? 0935. Okay, the milligram of epi is in. Continue compressions. We're going to do compressions for two minutes here. Two minutes, Nancy, keep pumping, please. And when the two minutes are up, uh, let me know when two minutes are up, Michelle, so we can check a rhythm and see how he's doing. Two minutes are up. Stop. We still have V fib. We're going to charge the fibrillator again to 200. Everybody clear? I'm clear. You're clear. Everyone's clear. Discharge Dave. Resume CPR. David, I need amiodarone, 300 milligrams. IV push. Okay, while Dave's getting the amiodarone ready, let's start thinking as a team how things are going to go. Uh, what could have caused this? He was fine five minutes ago. He came in. He's supposed to be having a cholecystectomy. Let's see. The first and thing is low hidden. volume. Uh, we have his IVs wide open. So that's one H. The next one would be how are, well, how's his pulse ox? Well, um, with uh, ventilations is 92%. All right, so do you have uh, bilateral breast sounds and rise and fall of the chest with that? Yes, I do. Okay, so it can't be that. We're doing all right there. We know he's not cold, so it's not hypothermia. Um, <clears throat> David, can you get a bedside dextro stick? Let's, you know, get that. We sent all flaps earlier. We'll take a look at that. <clears throat> Glucose is And if uh, we can... Michelle, can you call another respiratory therapist so we can get arterial blood gases strong on him? All right, so now we're looking at T's, uh, possible, you know, tension pneumo, which you can't be, tamponade, no. Uh, do you think Toxins? Be, could be. Why don't we try some, you know, uh, Narcan? I don't know. We have some visitors in here. Why don't we go ahead and give him some Narcan? How much Narcan do you want? .8. It's been two minutes. Yeah, go ahead with the point .8. Are we right. still in the same? Room? We're still in BFib. Uh, everybody clear. Before you get the Narcan, I'm clear. You're clear. Everyone's clear. Charging. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Continue. Go get the Narcan, Dave. Narcan's given. Narcan's given. How's he doing, Wilma? I have uh, a heart rate on this, but you know, is no he fighting the bag? No spontaneous respiration. Okay. You have strong pulses yes, with that. All right. We need to get anesthesia in here to intubate. Once we get them intubated, uh, we're going to make sure transfer to the ICU. Thank you, people, very much.